I'm Tom Benet, Senior Economist at CoBank. The world's largest battery energy storage development project just received the green light from the New York Public Service Commission. The project reaffirms what electric co-ops in remote areas have known for years. Many grids that are transmission constrained can save substantial amounts of money, time, air pollution, and local unease by investing in battery energy storage projects. Ravenswood Development will bring the 316 megawatt, 2500 megawatt hour system to reality in New York City in three phases, with the first 129 megawatts of capacity scheduled for completion in March of 2021. With an eight hour duration, the completed system will be the world's largest and provide peak capacity, energy, and ancillary services to the New York grid. The project should also help to alleviate some of New York City's electricity price spikes and reliability issues. Since the project's batteries will charge with power from the New York grid, its output will become less emission intensive as the state approaches its goal of getting 50% of its power from renewables by 2030. To a large extent, the rationale behind New York's new battery project mirrors that of similar installations by electric co-ops in rural Alaska, Minnesota, California, and Hawaii, among others. Co-ops in these states have for several years proven that battery energy storage facilities can be the most economic alternative to upgrading transmission systems and to adding new power generating resources. Co-ops such as Golden Valley Electric Association, Kodiak Electric, Cordova Electric, and Conexus Energy are all using their respective batteries to save customers money, enhance reliability, and prove a new resource investment thesis at the same time. I invite you to read more about these issues and others on cobank.com.